Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Melly, and today I wanted to kind of do a breakdown of everything that I crocheted in the month of March. I figured since we're already in April, I would do my March recaps and show you guys everything that I was able to crochet. I hope you guys enjoy the video, and if you do, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and join our little community that we have growing here. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let me show you the basket that I have filled with all of my goodies. So here is the basket that I am talking about. It looks more intimidating than what it really is. Let me go ahead and put this down and we'll get started. So I do want to start off by saying some of these may have been made April 1st. And the reason I'm just going to go ahead and include them in here is because I can't really remember if it was like... March, like the, the last day of March, or if it was the beginning of April, honestly. This is just me like wrapping up the end of this week and recapping it with March. So I hope you guys aren't upset that I did that. I just wanted to kind of give that little disclaimer before you guys are like, wait a minute, she worked on that on April 1st. So just wanted to let you guys know. Now let's go ahead and get started with the first pattern that I want to talk about. So the first pattern that I want to talk about is this free no sew pattern by nooks underscore hooks. I went ahead and made two of them. One of them with this little variegated yarn and the other one with this blue from Premier Perfect Chunky. They are adorable. This is the size difference if you were to make it. She came out with this pattern I believe in March and I was one of her testers. Very adorable. Nooks is like the place to go. Like her name is a nook and she makes amazing free patterns as well as paid patterns so definitely check her out if you're interested because she has a ton of good patterns she just came out with a fox i believe and that one's just adorable i need to add that to my cart so i can purchase it but very adorable little plushies like i said this one's a free no sew pattern on her instagram if you're interested i'll link it down below the next pattern that i want to talk about is this cute little miss leprechaun by murphy crochets her name is addison and she did the little boy leprechaun and then she went ahead and wrote up the pattern for Miss Leprechaun here. She is one of my best friends. If you guys know, you know. She does amazing patterns, so definitely check this out. Definitely check out the boy version of the leprechaun. That one's adorable too. Congrats, Addison. I think these patterns were adorable for St. Patrick's Day. Let's go ahead and move on to pattern number three. The next pattern and designer I want to talk about is Cozy Wonders Crochet. She does such beautiful patterns. This is my second time testing for her and I promise you, you will not be disappointed in any pattern that you get from this person, this maker. This is Liam the Griffin. I desperately wanted to be a pattern tester and when I was chosen, I like freaked out because this is just adorable. It really reminds me of like Harry Potter and it's a little snuggler. So the only thing that has any type of stuffing is his head. All these little limbs and his body are all flat and so it makes the process just that much easier for you to finish. And although it's not no sew or low sew, this was like so simple for me to make. I feel like it's just so easy to put together. I don't even know how to explain it and I know there's a bunch of body parts to put. Even the wings, this little tusk or whatever this is called, the arms, the legs, the tail, the hair, and the ears. But honestly this assembly was so nice and I really enjoyed it and I really want to make a couple more. This came in like a pattern pack of four I believe. Let's go ahead and move on to the next pattern. So the next pattern has a bunch of parts to it but the result is endless. It is so cute. So this is a little ice cream dessert turtle by Crochet by Janina. She also has a YouTube channel here and she's on Instagram of course. I was one of her pattern testers for this adorable little ice cream turtle and it's just so cute. She like pops out patterns left and right. I'm telling you every other day I see her making patterns and doing tester calls. That is just amazing. The type of drive that she has to be so creative and and make all of these patterns. It's freaking awesome. I love this little turtle. This one was my favorite out of all the turtles and it's the only one that I applied to because it was my favorite and I think he came out so cute. I think for the summer he is going to be a big seller and so I'm excited to put this out. I kind of want to make a couple more maybe changing the types of ice cream flavors that are on here but he is so cute. Look at his big old eyes. I had smaller eyes on him and then today I decided to because I 
but glued all the eyes in. I decided to make them a little bit bigger. Let's go ahead and move on to the next pattern. The next pattern I talked about in my recent vlog, so I think this one is the one that I'm talking about that I either made like the end of March or the very beginning of April, but it is this bee or wasp pattern by All From Jade. So she just came out with like different little fidget toys. All the parts are like movable, none of this is stuffed, only the body, the thorax, and the bum of the bee is stuffed and then it has little wings as well like I said in my vlog the fact that you have to you would have to weave in all the ends including the magic ring end and then the tail end that you end up with whenever you cut the yarn it kind of turns me away from making these for my market they are not market friendly these are more just like if you were wanting to make one for yourself or maybe like a custom order but I could not bulk make these at all I thought it would be one of those good patterns that I can do, but the fact that I would have to weave in all of these ends and put them all together, it just makes me not want to do it. But the result is adorable, and I do like these little blue eyes on this cute little bee and the fact that it looks so realistic that, you know, half its body is like off. I think that's adorable, but would I make this again? No. Let's go ahead and move on to the next pattern. The next pattern that I want to talk to you guys about... I just dropped it. Hold on. When I dropped it, it reminded me of the little scene on Finding Nemo where it's like, swim away, swim away, because it's an octo. <laughs> but this is the next pattern that I want to talk about. This is a little octo pattern. It's a no-sew pattern. It's a free pattern on Instagram. It is by Hooked and Beyond. I really enjoy making these. I know a lot of people don't like how long it takes to make the little limbs or whatever the... the tentacles but I just think it's adorable it doesn't even take too long I know it's more yarn but honestly I would charge like between seven to eight bucks for these little guys especially if I make them in like Bernat blanket or sweet snuggles light you could upcharge just a little bit more and make a little bit more money off of it so this is the next pattern I did end up only making one I can make several of these it takes like probably about 15 16 minutes to make or so I don't think that's long at all you can whip out four of these within an hour and um, if you charge eight dollars that would be I have to do some math hold on <laughs> you'd make 32 bucks in an hour you know what I mean so I think that's pretty good Let's go ahead and move on to the next plush. Okay, I do gotta say this is literally one of my favorite plushies that I have made. I'm not being biased because it's not one of my patterns, but this is Shelby the Sea Turtle, and I think I love like the way this turtle shell came out and then the way it just complements this green. I wasn't sure what to use this green on and then these two just fit so perfectly with the tan body and then look at its green eyes. I just think this is so adorable and this is Shelby the Sea Turtle. This is a pattern by Isla's Toy Box. This was a pattern test that I was in. I just feel like you can just hold it like this and take some adorable photos of her. It was a little bit of an awkward construction but I love the end finish the only thing I feel like there was a like waste of yarn is because the belly is like I don't know how to explain it to you guys but the belly is two layers so you were going around and around and around and around to make this all for it to just be flattened out so it's two layers of green on it instead of like you having to make it because you can tell this is layers up not a magic ring into closing, you know? So that's the only thing that I was just like, hmm, that's kind of weird, especially you're just wasting a bunch of this green yarn, like the belly yarn, but it's adorable and I really do love the end finish. Very, very cute. I definitely think everybody should make one of these. So cute. Let's go ahead and move on to the next pattern. So the next pattern on my end, I messed up by using the colors that I did because it's a little lamby snuggler, but it kind of looks like a little rat. And to be fair, it is my fault for thinking that pink and brown would look adorable for a little lamb. I just think it looks like a little rat and I can't unsee it. Or maybe like a naked possum or something. I don't know. <laughs> but this is her. So the only thing that's stuffed is her head. Her body is not. And then only half of her arms and legs are stuffed. 
And this little Lammy Snuggler pattern is by Cam's Crochet Creations. So adorable. I was a pattern tester for her as well. I think she turned out cute. I wish I would have done the regular colors that they use. They ended up using like the faux fur or something similar to it. And I should have done that because that would have been adorable. But I wanted to be different and I used pink and I think it looks like a little mouse. But she's cute. She's cute. I definitely want to remake her with the original white and tan so we'll see when I do that because you know it just feels like I never have time for anything so let's go ahead and move on to the next pattern right now I'm literally realizing that I was in so many pattern tests like I don't know who I thought I was but I literally had a pattern due probably every other day for like two weeks straight but the next one that I want to talk about is this little guy it's biscuit the flying bison so cute of course it's inspired by avatar and appa that's what this little guy is this is by crochet with a shroot and I think she did really good constructing this little fella I enjoyed making it that I made a second one and I kind of want to make a little army of biscuits wouldn't that be adorable and just have them displayed they're so small I feel like I should make them bigger because I don't know if I'm gonna get my money's worth if I continue to make them this little because it is a lot of color changes and stuff especially on the belly it's like a light brown and then cream on top and then you have to embroider the arrow things like that that's something to consider if you make this pattern it is adorable though and I would probably just make it like maybe Bernat to get it like double or triple the size of this but very adorable I appreciate being a pattern tester of hers and I hope her pattern is doing well because it's adorable the next pattern that I want to talk about this person actually messaged me and asked me if I could test her pattern out and give her some feedback this is so cute it's so adorable it's so simple it's so small to where you could finish it within like 30 to 45 minutes it is this cute little henry the seal it is by Shazmir og look how adorable that is it's a cute little seal i even added like one of the noses one of the plastic noses and i feel like it just gave him a lot of spunk so cute i don't think this takes up too much time for you guys to make and i think you guys should definitely try this little pattern out it's adorable if you do end up purchasing let her know that you came from our little family over here this is the cute little seal henry the seal very cute let's go ahead and move on to the next pattern okay the next pattern that i want to talk about is by one of my besties on here and that is stitches by Bathy. she ended up making this adorable little hermes the hermit crab it has so many mods too it has like little bubbles on it it has little like frills on it i just made the original one and i think it's adorable i ended up making two of them i did like this little colorful palette with yellow for the body and then the other one that that I made is a floral one I think that was so pretty with yellow I've been like using yellow a lot I feel like but nonetheless they're so cute um I think right now she has the pattern tester call being done and then she'll be releasing it soon so make sure you go and check that out definitely a must try whenever you if you're interested in trying a new pattern definitely try it out the next couple of patterns that I'm going to talk about, I'm kind of just going to graze over them just because I did talk about them in my free no-sew patterns. So these are the patterns that I made specifically for that video. All the details will be down in the description. If you want to watch the video, I'll link it right here for you guys. It'll be, I think, on this corner. If not, it's on this corner, but I, I promise it's in one of these corners. Let's go ahead and breeze by these because I do give my input on all of them in that video if you want to watch it. This is the little cow barnyard animal it's by amateur hour and rachel the farmer's wife so adorable there's that one next we have the baby and mama mouse it's just like a two in one and this is by tinkering crochet so adorable i freaking love it it is no so it's so easy to work up i definitely want to make a couple i just don't know how well rodents would sell and i mentioned that in the video but i think it is so cute next we have happy the hippo this is by crochet crochet and pink blue crochet definitely check this out they both come out with cute little patterns and they have collaborated i believe in the past look how adorable this is i definitely want to make 
a couple more maybe one in gray maybe one in pink the little tail every time I see it gets me every time because it is tiny but literally if you look at hippos they don't have really big tails and stuff so I enjoyed making this and I love how big it is so the next pattern I actually don't have with me if you guys watch my vlogs you guys know that I took Ollie the Octo to my job he is sitting on top of the candy bar so anybody that takes a piece of candy will have his mean eyes glaring at them so I just thought that was funny people at work thought it was funny I went ahead and left them there but it is by knots by Fi, and I wanted to talk about it because it is one that I made for the month of March but let's go ahead and move on to the next pattern the next pattern that I tried out in that video is a little kitty pattern and this is by my universe 64 so adorable it's tiny I feel like people ask for cats and stuff every time I'm on my live and if I make any this is such a good pattern it is free it's on Instagram it is no so I feel like you would really enjoy making a bunch of these especially I always say if you're gonna make something small like this you might as well make it in like Bernat so it can come out like twice or three times as big. Now, if you're okay with selling smaller items like this and it's worth it, then definitely do that. I think this is one of the smaller ones that took me less time to make. So I probably would make them in this size as well, just because it didn't take me too much time. It's less material and you can have it at a lower cost. The next pattern that I want to talk about is Pigletta the Pig. It is by Pig Plushies on Instagram. Free no-sew pattern. These are all free no-sew patterns. The last couple that I've been talking about from that video. I had a lot of fun making this. My dad loves like little piggies. So I really enjoyed making this. I think people would like it. It is small. It's like hand sized. There's not much to say. Just that I feel like I like all these patterns. So... <laughs> I feel like we're starting to wind down and get to the last couple pieces that I made in the month of March. So let's go ahead and finish it off and it's going to be strong. None of these plushies I dislike or hated making. I really did enjoy the month of March and everything that I made. I really do like all these patterns and the best one I did save for last. So make sure you watch this video all the way through so you know which ones are my favorite. Let's go ahead and move on. This one is a three-in-one little birdie. It's a free no-sew pattern by Kazillion Crochet. Different versions of birds, of course, three-in-one. And I decided to make the little mallard duck. I think it's so adorable. I don't even think I have too many mallards on my table. I do have a market or a little pop-up market on April 28th, so I'm kind of getting nervous, kind of getting excited. I need to hunker down and like price all of my plushies. I'm just... I just want to continue making and I don't like pricing. So that is one thing that as a business, like a micro business owner, I need to kind of just do, you know what I mean? But at the moment, I'm just having a lot of fun creating. This is the little mallard duck that I made this past month and I think he's adorable especially if he has two other little brothers and sisters that go with this one and they're the same size. They're just different birdies. Definitely check it out and it's free. The next pattern, did I mention it was free? <laughs> It's a stackable frog. It comes with three other animals. I think these are adorable. They're a little bit on the bigger side and they do kind of sit on top of each other. So that's kind of cute. It's innovative for me. This is a little stackable frog. I decided to make the stackable frog. I think there's a stackable pig, a frog, a lamb, and something else. I can't remember. A cow maybe? I can't remember, but these are so cute. They're really, really chunky. And this is by Mariah Faith Crochet. And I think she did a good job. And and it's free. I mean, come on now. You can't really beat free, especially when the pattern is written well and you understand it. Like, I like that aspect of it. If I don't understand a pattern, that's probably when I wouldn't make it. Or if it looks too complicated and it's free, I wouldn't make it either. Definitely take a look at it if you're interested. The next pattern that I want to talk about is this cute little two-in-one sun slash star. It's by Willow Lee Stitches on Instagram. No so free pattern. What else can I say? These are adorable. I've seen some with arms and legs that are paid patterns. I'm sure you could just like freaking slip stitch some little arms and legs when you finish with it and there you have it. I think it's cute. It's small. It did take a while for me to make so I don't know realistically how I want to price this and if I want to remake it again because I feel like I'm going to lose some money off of this because these are all individually made and there's a ton of them so it did take 
take me a little bit to make this pattern. So the next pattern that I want to talk about is Hayden the Moth. This is by Knotted Cat. Well, look how amazing these little wings are. He has little nubby legs. I love the little nubby legs. Anytime I see nubby legs, I just want the pattern and I know it's going to be simple, small, most likely most of it will be no sew or low sew. I really do like this pattern. It's so adorable. I did talk about it in like trying to micro crochet video, which I can have linked right up here for you guys. I ended up making this little guy, which is very, very holy. And then I made this one. So I think this one was made with like a two point five or two and then this one was made with a 1.5 or 1.75 i can't remember it's in the video but look at the size difference between these two and then this one was made with premier parfait chunky huge differences here very adorable i always use a five millimeter hook with premier parfait chunky so this is with a five and it just gets smaller and smaller very adorable definitely check it out like i said the pattern is by knotted cat very cute. Okay, so we are finally at the end and I want to show you guys my favorite pattern that I made in the month of March. Well, there's two actually, but I have to be biased here and I have to promote myself, of course. I do have to show you guys my pattern that I've been working on. That's the pattern tester call. Should probably be coming out next week on my Instagram, which is Colin the Koala. Look at him. I have to talk about him. He's my baby. So this is a sleepy baby no sew Colin the Koala pattern. It's my third pattern of my sleepy baby animal collection, if you didn't know. He is just so cute. He's very hugged. As you can see, he is a little bit rounder than and then the legs are actually too far down. So this was like my, one of my prototypes that I tried out. So that is what he looks like. The next one that I tried is in Posh Yarn. This is the last version like the latest version and the one that I will be coming out with. But as you can see, this one, the body is a lot rounder. This one, it has a little increase here. And that's how I wanted it. I want every sleepy baby animal with a bum, you know, with their little bum in the air. I love that. I changed that up. I moved the legs a little bit closer towards the front, which I enjoy a whole lot more. I did some white in between the black and the gray. And then I did some color changes here for the gray as well in the ear to have some at the bottom something i've been working on and i really do like the way he came out those two like i said this one's posh so it's a little bit smaller and this one's premier perfect chunky i am very biased but i think he is adorable now the next ones i have been talking about like my free mods that i'm coming out with for my sleepy baby animals and that is this little guy it's this one this specific pjs i'm actually going to call long john's patchwork jammies and i think it's so cute because he has a little patchwork version here and they're like little long johns so that's why i am calling them that and jammies is just a cute word christy said it in a live and i was like i have to call them jammies I think they're so cute. They have frills here on the neck. They have frills on the ankles and the little wrist. So very adorable. I also wanted to come out with a shorter version. So of course I had to make little Samba with the shorter version. These are called Daisy Duke patchwork jammies and it's because they're like little itty bitty shorts. I think the play on words was adorable, especially if you guys ever watched Dukes of Hazard and her little Daisy Duke shorts. So little Samba had to be made with the cute little short ones. She actually got the color change for the little frills. It hits her right there and then she even has the neck frills as well which I just think she looks so cute. And then this little patchwork yellow patchwork moment I just think it's so bright. I would use like a bright color if you're gonna use like a muted tone for the jammies and then do like a patchwork bright color. I just feel like it ties it all in. I do have some accessories that are coming out. I went ahead and made like a little sleeping bag. It's like a little floral sleeping bag. So cute that she can take to her little slumber party and she 
she's probably going to be like holding it. I think it's adorable. And then I want to come out for Benji the beaver. I want to come out with maybe making him a little blanket to hold on to his little twofer. I think that would be so cute. Maybe for Colin, I will do a little pillow moment, maybe in the shape of a cloud. I don't know yet. I have some stuff in mind, but you know, it's still in the works. I want the jammies to come out first and then maybe the little accessories later. I have to make the little beaver. I wanted to do like a little moment where it has like the little open back to it and then has buttons on the side. But the only one that I could do it with is with Colin because he's the only one that doesn't have a tail. What stops me from doing it with Samba or with Benji the beaver, Benji has a huge beaver tail and Samba has this cute little swirly tail. So that would get in the way of the little opening and closing. So I'm going to have to rework his little jammies with a little flap on it. And then I can give Benji these kind of jammies, the little long john jammies. I'm excited to be doing that. I will be working on it this month. So hopefully by mid-April, I can kind of lay out all the versions of it. Make sure you're following my Instagram so you know when they come out. I've been kind of like teasing them, so I'm excited about that. I just feel like if you want to put clothes on these little sleepy baby animals to make them look more like little nighttime buddies, I think that's so cute, you know? I hope you guys are excited for it. I saw a lot of you guys guys say that y'all were excited in my vlog video so it just confirmed to me that this is the direction that I want to take my little sleepy baby animals and I want all the hype around these little sleepy babies because it does take me a while to make them like I said I'm currently working on my pig pattern it's a two-in-one so it's a pig and a bunny I just need to figure out the legs and I'm sure everybody's like we know Melly like that is the thing that you need to figure out which it is it really is I am not giving up on it and I haven't picked it up in like a month or two so I think next week that's going to be first on their priority list to see if I I can maybe whip up the legs that I am wanting to come out with for my bunny slash piggy. So I'm excited about that. And yeah, that's all the plushies that I made this month. I always do a recap and I like to show you guys kind of counting them out. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm still here. I just have all literally, if you saw my desk, all of the plushies are on here, but they're like overfilling. I have my basket here. So let's go ahead and count. One, two, three, four, five. So we have a total of 30 things that I made in the month of March slash very first week of April. I think that's pretty good. Usually I make a little bit more, but I was doing other things like selling my sewing sticks. I've been trying to launch this new item that you guys will hear about next week. I painted eyes, so that is something interesting. I can show you guys one, a little sneak peek here, but they came out so beautiful. They look so good. I talk about them in my vlog. Yes, I actually filmed a little bit this week for next week's vlog. So very exciting. I started on Thursday, so it'll be from Thursday to Wednesday. So I'm excited. There may not be much going on on the weekend, but I will do some crocheting today and I'll show you guys that on my vlog. And then I'll do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and the video will be up on Thursday, 12 p.m. CST. Thank you guys for being here and seeing all of the plushies that I made and being interested in that. Make sure you hit the like button. You subscribe if you're wanting to be a returning user. I think it's about 56% of you guys watch my videos and y'all aren't subscribed. What are you doing? If you're going to watch me, just subscribe and hit the no bell notification button so you know when I upload. I will say that I upload Thursdays and Saturdays, 12 p.m. CST, and then my lives are Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 p.m. CST. So if you're interested in that, I also do sneak peeks on Instagram. I post a lot on my stories to kind of bring you guys on the journey of what I do from day to day. I really do appreciate anybody who subscribes and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I appreciate you guys and I will see you on my live on Tuesday at 8 p.m. CST. Bye guys!